Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have an exciting announcement, a major life update for you all. So we are actually going to be selling our farmhouse that we love so dearly, and we're gonna be moving on to our next adventure. So it's funny because when we moved into this house, we thought for sure this was going to be the forever home. Um, we could see you know, our, ourselves and our family staying here for many, many, many years to come. Um, but we have obviously, I guess, changed our minds on that. It's been so hard to come to this decision for a couple of reasons. One, we don't have to leave. We could stay here forever um, and we would love to stay here forever, but we're choosing not to, and I'll, I'll explain more about that and why. Um, but also, we love this house. We really, really love this house. Um, we love the area, we love the property, we love that our kids can run free outside, there's so much space. We love the charm of this old house. There's so much that we love about it, and there's really like nothing wrong with it. It's not haunted or anything like our last house was, but, you know, we have made this decision that we are going to move on from this house. Um, and I wanted to explain why. This is definitely like a crazy decision. <laughs> and it's not, honestly not one that I ever thought I was going to make. Um, but really the reasoning behind it is, I mean, there's there's a few things. One, our, our mindset um, has really changed drastically in the last three years when it comes to how we spend our money and just how to be good stewards of the money um, that we work so hard you know, to make. And we've kind of just transformed the way that we look at how we spend our money. Now, we have never been like big spenders. Um, we don't have super fancy cars. We don't go on nice vaca vacations unless they're like literally paid for. We go on vacations with Young Living. Um, fairly often, but they're always paid for. We don't like shop a lot. We don't spend a lot um, on things that, you know, I feel like aren't necessary. Um, so we've always been good and we've always been really good about saving, but something that's, you know, changed in the last three years is we've really started to invest our money um, a lot more. And that's not something we ever did before we just didn't really know what to do, but it's something we've been learning a lot more about, specifically Matt, he's read so many books on investing and um, how to like set yourself up for the future. And um, we've started to, again, if you follow me closely on Instagram, you may have seen some of this, but we've started to invest a little bit in real estate. We've got a couple Airbnbs, we have a long-term rental. Um, Matt is looking into like other investments he wants to make. And this is something that's become like a huge priority for our family. I feel like investing should be a priority for anyone, um, but especially in our situation, Matt and I work for ourselves. Um, we are, I guess you would consider us entrepreneurs. Um, I quit my corporate job like right after we got married. Matt has qu quit his corporate job about four and a half years ago. It'll be five years in the spring. So we are like deep into this life of making our own money, um, not having, like we don't have a salary. We don't know how much we're going to make every year. Um, there's a lot of variables and you know, we've experienced, which is totally normal if you're going to live this life, um, we've experienced the high highs and we've also experienced the low lows. And there is a lot of um, variability that comes with, you know, owning your own businesses and making your own money and not being dependent on a paycheck from somebody else. Um, would not change it for the world, have no intention of ever, 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 ever going back to work. And that is a huge part of why we want to invest more of our money. I mean, we work really hard. Um, I obviously have, um, it's mainly my businesses. So um, I have my YouTube channel, my social media presence. Um, we have our Young Living business, which is a huge income stream for us. Um, I have my course that I just launched and it's kind of in its infancy, but um, that is another income stream. Um, and sorry if this is like weird talking about money. I don't feel like talking about money is weird at all. Um, but maybe that's because of the lifestyle that we're in and we make our own money. So I have no problem talking about income streams, but, um, and Matt has, you know, we've got the rentals and he's looking into other investments. And so, you know, this is something that's become really important to us. And like I said before, we don't spend like we're not big spenders. Um, but when it comes to this house, this was a big purchase. 
Um, and you know, we spend a lot of money to live here. It is a very old house. It's also very big way more space than we need. I mean, you could literally fit like 10 kids in here, which I don't plan on doing, but um, it's it's very, very large and it's very old. So if you live in an old house, which we are totally sold on old houses, we love them. Um, they, you just, they just don't build them like they used to. There's so much to love about old houses, but they do have, you know, they do come with their fair share of issues. Um, you know, heating this big old house is a big expense. Like there's just a lot of expenses that come with living in this house. Um, which for the first few years that we lived here to us, it was like, this is like an investment in our happiness. Like we are happy to pay this money because we love this house so much. Um, but as again, as that mindset started to change, we started to look at it differently and Matt kind of had this, you know, <laughs> he changed his mind on, on this topic, I guess, well before I did. I, it took me a lot longer to get on board. Um, you know, it was almost like an inside joke because for a long time he would show me houses like on the market in our area. And I was just like, no, I am not moving, literally not moving, never moving, never moving. I'm not going to move, never moving. And it almost became an inside joke, but um, as time went on, I started to see things the way that he was seeing things and I just totally, totally wholeheartedly agree. Um, and it's just become this decision that we've kind of made as a family to basically downsize. So we're selling this farmhouse. We bought the cutest little cottage that you've ever seen. It needs a lot of work, but she's going to be spectacular when I'm done with her. Um, but we bought a much smaller house. Um, and we're going to be able to take so much of the money that we were spending on this house and put it into investments, which maybe that doesn't sound exciting at all to you. I know when, um, which I'm not doing this obviously for you guys, this is a decision for our family, but I know it probably sounds a little bit crazy. Um, I know when I told at least my family, they were like, I'm sorry, what you're doing? What? Like that's your dream house. What, why are you selling it? Um, and it is totally like a countercultural thing to do because most of the time, you know, you work really hard, you make the money, you buy the dream house and you just stay there forever. You stay put. Um, and we're kind of like, we've done that. And now we're like, we're, we're going to go backwards a little bit, um, so that we can basically invest more money. So it's definitely a crazy decision. And maybe if you like, if you aren't in our position of working for yourself and making your own money and not being like, not having like that, um, like almost like safety net or that comfort of a salary, um, then th this may actually be like hard to understand that this move would be hard to understand. And, and I totally like, I totally understand that. Um, but when you're, you live this life of like, you know, somewhat unpredictability, um, to me having like more to be able to invest more and set ourselves up for the future, that means everything to us. And while this house honestly is like, so magical and we do love living here and, and for a long time it was really a priority to make sure that we could stay here um that took a back seat to the greater priority which is never having to go back to work to be able to set ourselves up financially and you know um you know spread out our money and in investments so that we can maintain this life of freedom, this life of time freedom and family freedom and work freedom. Like that is our most important thing at the end of the day. That's the most valuable thing at the end of the day because you're never going to get time back ever. Time is fleeting. It's the one commodity that you can't get more of. And we want to spend as much time as we can as a family and not being like in a nine to five away from the house all the time, spending so many hours away from our kids. Um, we want to be able to like invest more in travel once our kids are a little bit older and be able to like take them places and see the world. Like that is more important to us at the end of the day. So once I, you know, once we started thinking about like how important that is, where we live became less of like less of a thing. Um, and you know, this was not like, this was a decision that we talked over for months and months and prayed so much about. And there was a lot of tears and so many emotions around letting go of this house that we love so much. Um, and that we worked so hard to, to get, um, but you know, I'm kind of on the other side of it now and I'm so at peace with it. And I also feel like throughout this whole kind of like journey of this like mindset change and choosing to move and um, like God has really been working on my heart. Like I didn't realize how much I was like white knuckling this house, almost turning it into an idol. And I really just didn't want to let it go. But 
there is so much freedom in just like no longer gripping onto the things that you so desperately want to hold onto and just being more open-fisted and more open to what his plan is and i'm excited to see it play out it's there's a lot of freedom and just kind of letting go and seeing like where he wants to take us and that is something i'm super excited for so it has been quite the journey to even get to this point um but we are so excited about it we're really excited for the future and as you know, sad as it's going to be to actually leave this house and pass the keys on to the next family and how bittersweet it's going to be. I know that this is something that we're doing for our future and it's going to pay dividends. And at the end of the day, it's just a house. It's just a material possession. It's not something that we can take with us. And you know, there's so many more important things in life than exactly where you live. And Matt has been saying this all along, like Becca, I literally do not care where we live. We, like I, I don't care as long as our, we've got our family and our health at the end of the day, that is literally all that matters. And he's, he's so right, of course he's right. But it took me a little bit longer to come to that same, you know, to be in agreement there because I just love this house so much. But it's just a house, it's just where we live. As long as our, we've got our family, we are rich. So, but, I am really actually excited about the next house. Like it is, it's a downsize as far as size, but you guys are going to love this house. If you love this one, you're going to love the next one. I was not just like, sure, I'm gonna live anywhere. I mean, it's still me. I still have, you know, like I still wanna live in a certain type of house. So we waited for the right one to come along. Such a gem, um, great investment. Um, who knows if we'll stay there for a long time or who knows if we're just going to work on it and then do this again We don't know we're like again. We're just kind of open to where the future is going to take us at this point um, but she is so cute and she needs a lot of work um, but it is a cottage and We love the area we love like the like the the property that it's on it's just like in its own way, it's very different from this house, but there's also a ton of similarities and it's magic in its own way. So I'm really excited to be sharing the cottage with you guys. We are so excited for this next chapter. I did actually do a walkthrough, like a little empty house tour of the cottage um, before we started doing any like major renovating and construction. It is a literal construction in zone in there right now. Um, but I did film before we started doing anything major so you guys could kind of see what we're working with. But it's totally a fixer upper. Like uh, there's a lot of, the bones are so good, so, so good. But it, it does need a lot of work. I mean, we had to do like a ton of electrical work, um, like not fun stuff. Um, but then, you know, we're gonna be doing a lot of renovations to open it up and make it more beautiful. Um, but it's just, it is extremely cozy. Um, it is smaller than what we're used to, but we're actually really excited to just like move into, well, I'm sure it'll be an adjustment because hello, all of our kids. But just excited actually to have like less, like just less, stuff, less responsibility, less house to take care of. Like I'm actually just really looking forward to that. Um, and I think it's gonna be a really beautiful change. But anyway, this is by far my biggest project I've ever taken on from like an interior design standpoint. If you guys watched like way back on my channel, our very first house, I did like all these little DIY projects. Like I love to um, update our homes. I love to make them are like my style. I love to just make them like cozy. Like home is so, so, so important. And I do spend a lot of time and energy on making it um, welcoming and making it um, the way that I want it to be. And I've never, we've never bought a house that we've had to like really fix up. We did do some renovations in this house, um, like a light renovation in the kitchen. We also completely re redid our master bathroom. Um, which I didn't share with you the master bath. I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing that, but if you are, I can do like a reveal video on that, like before and afters too. Um, but this is my my biggest project to date, like actually taking on a house that pretty much needs, um, that needs a lot of work and we're doing like the most construction. We've, I mean, we've actually never really done construction. Um, we've always just kind of worked with what we had. Um, so this is really exciting. Um, I'm really excited for this next chapter and to really make this place ours. And of course, I will share that here on my channel um, as we move through the house, if that is something you guys want to see. So definitely let me know down in the comments below. But without further ado, I've been talking so much. Let me show you the empty house tour of our new cottage. 
All right, guys, so when we come through the front door, this is what you walk into. Let me see if I can turn a light on in here. There we go. So off to the right here is actually our family room. And then down this hallway is a set of stairs up and then there's rooms over here. But first, we're actually gonna go downstairs. There's like this old <laughs> wrought iron gate on the stairs. It's kind of cool. Um, but so we're gonna go down the stairs because this is my favorite part of the house and it's also where we're gonna be doing the most work. So when we come down, we've got these interesting old tile floors, which I actually don't, I don't hate them. They need to be regrouted, but they are gonna be um, replaced. So then this is a door to the outside. You can see all the trees in our backyard. There is a door here, and then there is a door here. So this is the dining room area. So we've got these cool beams on the ceilings, these beautiful like rounded plaster windows. We have these in our, um, our last house too. And uh, I just like love the details on um, these windows, that beautiful wood. There is an old fireplace here. There's a wood burning stove that apparently does work. So I am literally so jazzed about that because I've always dreamed of having a wood burning stove. I feel like in the winter time, they are just beyond cozy and charming. And I do love a wood burning fireplace, but I love that it's contained. So. Over here, there are these cool built-ins. All of this, this whole, like everything in our house pretty much is gonna be getting painted. It needs like a serious paint job, but just like really cool doors. So this is the, what we would consider the dining room. So this is where like our, but it's where like our kitchen table is going to go. Like this is where we're going to eat our meals um, because this is just like where the space is for it. And then over here is actually the kitchen. Um, and before I show you that, what we're planning to do is actually take out a good portion of this wall and then also take out a good portion of this wall, um, even like exposing, like some of the staircase will be exposed so that this all becomes like one cohesive space instead of two entirely separate rooms. So you'll see in here, this is the kitchen and it's the only place we've actually like started a little bit of construction. I couldn't get in here um, <laughs> before they started because we just kind of jumped on it. So you can see up here, um, this was actually from here down was actually a wall. There was a wall here. Um, that old range was here. There was cabinets all around it and it just totally like cut the room in half. So the first thing we did was remove that wall to open this up. There is some plumbing that unfortunately like had to stay. There's no way we could move that. So there is gonna be like a little baby wall that juts out, but I'm just not worrying about it. It is what it is. We're just working with what we got, but we were able to open all of this up. So this all becomes open kitchen. This wall is going to be, this is where we were like trying to see if it was load bearing. It is load bearing. So that's like a whole process of, we had a um, structural engineer come in, we have to get a permit, it's, you know, it's, it's a process, but I think it's gonna be so worth it. So this is all going to open up. You'll be able to see into like where our kitchen table is going to be. Um, so that back there, I'll show you in a second, is our laundry room, which also needs a lot of work. It's a, like actually a little bit scary in there, but back here is, um, let me close this door. So you can see there are, cabinets all along here. This is where our sink is. It's in front of this window. Um, and then this is another door that leads out to the backyard. So the plan is to potentially actually save these cabinets. They will have to come out when this like wall is getting demoed. Um, and then maybe just put on new um, cabinet like doors and drawers just to like freshen them up. But instead of doing all new cabinetry, that's kind of our, our hope. We'll see what happens. But I, I actually like the way the cabinets are laid out here. I actually really like the upper cabinets. I want to keep them. Um, the only thing that's kind of funky about this is this window is really like low and deep. So it's kind of awkward. You can see like the countertop comes across here. So I have to figure out something creative to kind of fill in that space maybe grow some a bunch of herbs back there or something um but this will be like painted cabinets all new countertops new sink um just completely 
new and fresh. And then on this wall, um, we're gonna have a little range with some skinny cabinets on each side, probably like a vent hood up there. The fridge will still be back here, um, but it will be facing out and we're getting a new fridge. And then I just wanna find some kind of like antique hutch to put here to like just have more storage for dishes and pots and things like that. Um, so that's what's happening in the kitchen now. I'll take you guys back to the laundry room and we'll leave the construction site that is the kitchen. So the laundry room um, needs like a full facelift, but it's actually really big. There's a lot of space in here. So it's a stone wall, which is really cool, but um, it's like painted a really funky color. It just looks really dirty. Um, so we probably are gonna end up covering it only because I don't want all of like this exposed, you know what I mean? Like I want to, I want it to look nice in here. Um, so, so this side is sink, laundry, um, and then on this side, it's actually a lot of space. So there's like old built-ins and old little like, um, the family who lived here clearly like built this closet. There's like old beadboard. There's definitely like, there's some charm in here. We just need to like really, really freshen it up. It needs like new paint and basically everything new. So. Um, I eventually, this is like a project later down the line, kitchen and opening these walls up is like our first priority before we um, at least get started on it before we move in. But I would love to put like some like countertops here for even more space. This is like gonna be our pantry. So lots of space to store food, um, maybe some open shelving up top. And then um, maybe even like a little tiny spot for like a computer, like a little mini desk area. That's kind of what I have envisioned in here. But obviously, new floors instead of cement, um, eventually new laundry, new sink, just to make this a really beautiful but very, very functional room. Okay, so leaving the kitchen and laundry area, there's one other thing I wanted to show you guys down here. Let me find a light. So, this little room, there's like a door at the bottom of the stairs, and this is actually like, basically like utilities in here. Um, there's an old, this is on the other side of the wall, that beadboard wall. The laundry room is on this other side of this wall. There's like an old workbench here, which is kind of cool, but not really something that we need. Um, and then this side is like straight up utilities, like water heater and air conditioning and all that kind of stuff. Um, but our hope is to actually make this area, like right when you walk back, um, obviously section off the utilities, but eventually make this a little powder room down here because we do not have a bathroom on this floor where the kitchen is. So headed back upstairs. This is the funny little gate. Here is our front door. And then in here is actually our new family room. Okay, I adore this room so much. Not so much the yellow walls and the brown trim. This is all gonna get a fresh paint job very soon but we've got a fireplace here. Look at these built-ins. They are just beautiful and they're floor to ceiling and I can't wait to decorate them. I think we might um, like eventually put maybe some cabinet doors here and just have like big cabinets on the bottom um, because built-in shelves with a bunch of little kids is just like uh, at least floor, like on the floor, is very impractical. Um, so that's kind of a project maybe at some point down the line. But I love, love this fireplace. The brick is so beautiful. I probably will, I do like the wood, but this room is pretty dark um, and I will do like anything to lighten it up. So probably will end up painting this, but not white, something fun. Um, okay, so then off to the side here, so Here's like the door where I came in. So we'll have like couch along this wall. I love these original floors, they're so beautiful. And then out here is like a little sunroom. So also needs a paint job. There's, there's like literally almost every color of the rainbow. There, we've got yellow, we've got red, we've got orange, we've got blue, we've got green. So um, all new paint job, more built-ins up here. We wanna build some like cabinets down here for storage mainly for like kids toys so we can keep them out of sight. Um, and then this is actually like, this comes up and it is all wood floor underneath here. So this just has to be ripped out and we just need to refinish the floors, but they're 
they're intact, they're under there, and from what we see, can see, they look pretty good. Um, but so this is just going to be like a beautiful, bright sunroom area where we can read books and just like cozy up, enjoy the view. This is our backyard. It is so unbelievably charming out there. It's like, it almost feels like a secret garden. Like we are like tucked in the woods. It's so private, it's so cozy. I just adore this room so much. When it's done, it's going to be just, oh, it's gonna be so beautiful and I know we're going to spend so much time in here. Okay, so leaving the family room and now I'm going down this hallway that I showed you guys when we first came in. So to the one side, hey heads, there is a staircase that goes up to the next floor. Um, and then on this floor, there are two bedrooms and a bathroom. So this house is built on a hill. So it's kind of like a, it's truly like, like a cottage on a hill. Um, so it's kind of like a funky layout, like the kitchen and dining room are on the bottom floor. Um, but that's almost kind of like the main floor. And then there's bedrooms and a bathroom and a family room on this floor. And then there's more bedrooms upstairs. So this bedroom that I just walked into is going to be um, our master bedroom. This is where uh, Matt and I, this is our bedroom. So we've got a decent amount of natural light in here. We've got a couple of windows. Um, and then we actually have pretty good size closet, especially for an older house. Needs a paint job, which it's gonna get, but um, the closets are really big. Like there's, there's a lot of storage in here. I was very impressed with the closet size and there's two of them. So we each have our own, which is really nice. The closets we have right now are teeny tiny. Uh, I mean, they're enough for us, but this is just nice. So it's a good size bedroom, um, beautiful original floors. There's enough room for like our king size bed and some nightstands, which is like pretty much all we need in here. And then off to this room. So this is going to be Bowie's room. This is gonna be like our nursery. We're gonna have the crib in here. Again, bright yellow walls, <laughs> um, which will be painted. But this is just a pretty simple bedroom. Fresh paint job, move his furniture in here. We've got a little closet. I love all the old doors. Um, but so this closet's actually gonna get a little smaller because we're gonna be borrowing a little bit of space in this bathroom. So this wall, we're gonna borrow a little bit of space from the closet to make this tiny shower a little bit bigger. So this is like, we don't really have a master bathroom. This is gonna be our bathroom. It's also probably gonna be the bathroom that our guests use the most, um, at least until we have the powder room eventually on that first floor, we hope. Um, so it's kind of tight in here, but we're gonna just work with it. And this is actually something that we're planning to do hopefully like before we move in, because while this is under construction, we'll have no shower in the house and we wanna obviously be able to shower. Um, we like have a lot of the materials already to get started on this bathroom, but it's just gonna be new tile floor, bigger shower. So you can see right now it's pretty small, nothing special about it. So this is bathroom's gonna get like a full reno. So the shower will be a little bit, a little bit bigger, not by a ton, but a little bit bigger, um, all new tile. And then we're gonna get like a, probably some kind of antique piece to flip into a vanity, new mirror, new light fixtures. Um, I love this window. It's so, so charming. And then we've got a bunch of built-ins here, which is actually good for storage, but again, it's gotta be like pretty storage. <laughs> so that'll be kind of fun to style because it'll be, you know, what our guests see when they come over. Um, so that's everything on this floor. Now we can head up these stairs, which are kind of fun, um, that also need to be painted, which they will be. And up here is the top floor. And we've got some more bedrooms and a bathroom. Okay, so this first room off to the right is going to be Miss Hadley's room. Pretty much just needs paint, because this trim is interesting. But look at this cute little window. She's got a view out into the side of the yard, all these beautiful trees. But it's a nice size room. There's a closet here and there. So this is good. The kids 
like love this <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Like I know the family that used to live here had three kids that spent like their whole childhood um, here. And I mean, they're like grown now and their parents have just now sold the house. So they like really want me to keep this and I kind of <laughs> think I might because I like it so much. Um, and then this is another bedroom. So this is a very big bedroom. I think technically it would be the master, um, but we don't want to be on the top floor. So we're taking that other bedroom, but it's pretty roomy in here. So this is going to be Hayden's room. If we ever have kids sharing a room, it would be this one because it's just, it's got plenty of space. We have, there's another closet here, good size closet. And then these funky drawers, so interesting. They are these massive, sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand, massive drawers. Like, I don't know what, <laughs> what the thought was behind these, but they're, I mean, they're kind of, they're kind of full, I guess. Huge drawers, which would be good to store toys, I don't know. But, so that is the final bedroom. And then over here is the bathroom that's on this floor. So we've got more of those <laughs> funky drawers. Um, so we've got a claw foot tub up here. This floor is gonna be redone, hopefully much sooner rather than later. We've got another cute little window that looks, oh, they're all outside, looks down on the side of our yard. Um, but this bathroom is actually pretty roomy. I don't know, we're like crossing our fingers that we might be able to fit a shower head here, but the way that this um, ceiling slopes I don't know, we have to like measure it out. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a tub up here. Um, but we might be able to sneak in like double sinks here. That's our hope. Um, but then just, you know, paint, new flooring. Um, I kind of love this old vintage sink, but I don't know if I'd actually keep it. That's a decision that will be made later down the line. But just, you know, new lighting, new mirror in here, and it will be, I think, pretty beautiful. And hopefully, hopefully, a shower head on that cast iron tub. Okay you guys, and now I wanna show you the last thing that honestly, ooh, it's so bright, kind of sold us on this house. I mean, we like a lot of things about this house, but the backyard is so dreamy. So when you come out of this door, um, which the kitchen is right in there, dining room is right in there, you kind of come out onto this little courtyard um, which is pretty mossy and grown over and again kind of needs a facelift this house is full of projects so we will be very busy in the coming years um, but the first thing we actually kind of want to do is there's these big privacy bushes here which I kind of like that it makes this like cozy little courtyard um, but with this being the kitchen window we want to be able to see the kids playing in the backyard when we're like in the kitchen cooking washing dishes so we are going to um, remove these but we still want to like keep this as like a little courtyard we would love to like have a dining table out here and grill out here and be able to like have guests here um it's just like this backyard is what what sold us on the house basically okay so here she is so can you hear the birds chirping it's just it's so peaceful here um so this is the backyard and we are on woods. We actually own like another acre into the woods, um, which is kind of cool. Um, if we ever wanted to like use that land, we could. I don't know if we ever would, but, so it's a huge backyard. So we'll have chicken coop here. Um, we're gonna have like a play set over here for the kids, maybe a garden kind of in the middle of those or a garden tucked over there, which I'll show you in a second. But one of the coolest things about this backyard that we knew our kids would just absolutely love is I don't know if you can see it over here tucked behind the trees but there is an old <laughs> log cabin that was built by the previous owner he built it I believe like with his kids as a summer project is what I've been told but it is a legit log cabin with like a front porch it's like magical childhood dreams right here so Hayden, you want to help me go in? Yeah. Okay. So let's Mommy, open the door. I'm open it. Okay, go ahead. So inside of here, there's obviously no electricity, um, but 
it is a legit log cabin. There's even a wood stove in here, which like boggles my mind. Like maybe we could even camp out here. I don't know. Um, there's a loft up there, little ladders. What do you think of the log cabin? I love it. This one can be for Hadley. This one can be for me. Yeah, the little and the big ladder. You guys gonna play out here a lot? Yeah! Yeah, okay. All right, so that's something that we just absolutely loved for our kids. And can you imagine just like sitting here with either a cup of coffee or a glass of wine and just enjoying this just little oasis back here? Um, so then over here is our garage. Play stores over there. Play store? Uh huh. So that is our garage, which is. A garage it's really not that interesting there is like a little apartment up top um, which I actually haven't even been up to yet you, you have to like climb a ladder to get up there it's not like super casual but um, so then there's kind of all this like overgrowth right here like randomly on the side of our yard which we want to like clip back eventually to open this up but there's even more space behind it over here and then this cute little, they called it, they called it like the mini barn, I think, when we bought it. But it's kind of hard to get back there because of all this overgrowth. But when you open it up, it's literally a mini stall in there. So I don't know, they must have had some kind of animals here and I don't know what, but we could, could have something besides chickens. So to be continued, I guess. Maybe it was something we could, something we could raise. So, um, so yeah. So here's the backyard, it's plenty of space. We can let our kids run free, we can grill out here. We're so excited, look what we just found. What? Hello, butterfly. Look how beautiful it is. Oh. Lots of nature out here, we're surrounded by it. That's what we love. Hi, butterfly. Hi, butterfly. But that is our little cottage in the woods. We also have lots of, um, exterior <laughs> landscaping work to do. This is like a, yeah, I'm gonna come and see it in a sec. There's a lot of, um, this is like a treacherous <laughs> path, but lots of projects, we'll be very busy, but it is just like the coziest, cutest little cottage you've ever seen, and we are so excited to live here. Okay, you guys, so that's the cottage, that's what we're working with. It's definitely a big change, but one, again, that I, at this point, I have arrived at feeling super excited about it, and I am just ready to, well, I'm not ready to move in yet, because it's still a construction zone, but once things are a little more buttoned up, so ready to move in and just start really transforming that space um, into our new cozy, home that I am just so pumped about. So thank you guys so much for watching this life update video. Let me know down in the comments below again if you want to see um, more of like the home decor, um, home renovation content as it's like kind of happening in the cottage. But that is all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!